Of course, this element of non-visibility has been very little worked on by te language teachers. We have been so successful in the sciences of nature that we have adopted everywhere a view from outside. So we operate on the visible, and we think that the invisible doesn't exist. I operate on the invisible. And I'm struck all the time, all the time, that there is a perception of the invisible. There is a perception of what, uh, what is there to be, to be received by sensitivity of what is not, not coming out in gestures or in uh, actions, but is certainly there. And you, you can say a teacher who works on himself or herself can become very sensitive, very vulnerable to this kind of operation on the part of students. And then you can say what the television approach does is to make visible the invisible. And you're struck by the fact that someone whom you don't see is bringing to the fore states of mind, uh, doubts, uh, responses that are indeed valid.